All right, this is a pretty cool and fun one. Uh, I got this device at Supercon this year, and it is called the Super Dinky Blinky. I think this one has a lot of fun backstory to it. So first, let's take a look at the uh, project page for this from Pumaroni. Super Dinky Blinky at Hack Daddy Supercon. So they put these in the swag bags. It is a tiny little blinky, but it's reprogrammable, uh, but it's a very unusual type of chip called the Nuvoton N76E003, which I've never seen being used uh, in a maker project before, but apparently it is uh, the result of a bunch of research into what could be a really low cost microcontroller that they could just easily drop as swag wherever. Uh, there's a couple of interesting articles that they link to, including this one about uh, tiny little microcontrollers that are super cheap and they're search for the best one. This is by Jay Carlson and it's linked in the description to this video but also from the Pumaroni blog post here and then also one on making a three cent microcontroller useful. Neither of these are actually, wait, uh, we wrote on. <laughs> There's a bunch of cool examples here that you might want to check out. This would, I think, make for really good reading on a cold winter night or a hot summer night if you're in the Southern Hemisphere. But yeah, I thought that we would go ahead and solder this together and have some fun with it tonight. So let's see. I'm gonna warm up my soldering iron while we take this, while we get this open. So what do we got here? We have three LEDs, through hole LEDs. Are these single color or what? They look like they have a large die in the middle, which could be a single color, it could be multicolor, I'm not sure. Then we have the little uh, ha, microcontroller itself. This has a little dome push button switch. And let's see if we can get some better focus on that. It's kind of horrendous right now. There we go. Bring down that contrast a little bit. There we go. All right, so yeah, here we go. So here's the LED one, LED two, ground and three volts. Uh, our little dome switch. This is a half height PCB, so it's super thin and light as well. And then this is the, I guess it's just toggling power. Cool, bum, 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 bum. nice and clicky. Hey, so what does this say? Uh, plus we have some copper tape here and those three LEDs. It says, operation, with power applied to the three volt and ground terminals, the SDB will periodically turn the LED outputs on and off in a pattern. This pattern can be changed by pressing the dome switch. Power can be toggled by holding the dome switch for a couple of seconds. Ha! The terminals are designed for a wide variety of connections, copper tape, crocodile clips, or uh, alligator clips, uh, connective thread, or even soldering. Connect the positive anode of the LED to the LED terminal and the cathode to ground brains. The circuit is driven by the Nuvoton N76E003A Q20 MCU microcontroller, a low-cost 8-bit 8501-based microcontroller. You can find further info overleaf. And then they have information about reprogramming it. Cool. So that's what this little five pin or five pad connector is for. You need an, need an in circuit programmer. And uh, part of the deal on the website that refers to this is that someone has worked on a uh, is that Nico has worked out his own way to do that without using the Kyle compiler, which apparently costs around $2,000 for a license. So you can find the link to that as well. Super dinky blinky firmware. Cool. So I think my soldering iron should be, wired, should be warmed up by now. Let's get to it. I guess I'll just solder directly to this thing. What if I made a little creature? Like what, we've got LED and LED one and two. And they both need to be soldered to ground. So what if I made little antennae? Like a little bug. <laughs> so the long leg is going to get soldered to LED one and then the short one to ground. So I'm just going to push this through here. 
and hope that it can make it, yeah, it can make it all the way over there. I'm probably not going to reprogram this, but I might as well try and bend it around. There we go. Um, and then I'll put this other one. I wonder if they're the same color. I guess I'll find out in a minute. Um, put the other one through here. And again to ground. Ooh. Push that through. And we'll make it just stick out like this. That'll be pretty cute. <laughs> Great. Time to solder this together. No shorts. Cool. Where's my solder? Here we go. And my brass coil. All right. I guess I could put this onto like a holiday card or something, but I'm not going to because I'm lazy. I'm just going to solder from this top side. Making sure to heat the LED leg as well as the socket there. Cool. Same thing on the other one. I could use a third hand for this if I want to be really stable, but honestly, I don't much care. Now one thing I want to make sure uh, is that I have both these legs actually in the right place. And even if I've already clipped them both off, there's a way I can do that which is to look at the LED itself, the cap on the top should have a flat, ooh, <laughs> should have a flat side on it. And actually it looks like I've done that one backwards. Yeah, whoops. <sighs> Good thing to double check. So let's remove this. Ah, come off of there. And put it in the correct way. So as you can see it's got a flat side on the LED there, right here, and that corresponds to the negative leg, which makes it, ouch, <laughs> which makes it really easy to double check your work. There we go. Now let's do it properly this time. I used to think it was Pimeroni because it's short for Pirate Monkey Robot Ninja, uh, which is true, but apparently it's pronounced Pimeroni or Pimeroni. Good to know. That's looking pretty good. Super basic, but cute. Let's push it in a little bit further. Oh, my. There we go. Super cute. And now I'm going to solder the ground legs over here.
opening up both parts of the joint. And then same over here. This is a pretty quick and dirty job that I'm doing. <laughs> this is a pretty this is a pretty quick and dirty job that I'm doing. If you want pretty soldering, go check out one of the other ones where I solder headers on or whatever. This is a pretty quick and dirty. <laughs> this is a bit. This is a pretty quick and dirty job that I've just done. If you want pretty soldering, go check out one of the ones where I solder headers onto something. But for now. Ooh. But for now, let's trim these legs. And I perform the internal task of finding a three volt coin battery cell. And now I perform the eternal task of finding a three volt coin cell that actually works. This one is fresh, so it should do great. And I'm going to attach some copper tape. How should I do this? I think I'll solder it down actually. like this or something. Maybe I will turn it into a card. just tape it down to this. It'd be super cute. Yeah. Like make it a little flashlight or something. I think I'll do that. So what I'm gonna do is first add a little bit of foam tape to the bottom. A small enough piece so that it'll stay hidden. There we go. Have that stick out there. Oh, you know what? I should rotate it so that it goes this way. And I'm gonna put one over here. And then the other, there we go, is going to fold over it. like so. So that way we'll be able to squish or clip the battery inside of there. Let's test it. Oh, well, first I've got to solder it down.
First things first, I've got to solder it down. I'm going to try and hold this down in place while I do that. Just put a huge glob in there. There we go. Because this is a physical anchor as well as an electronic connection. All right. And then this guy. The card and cover. Oh, ouch. The card and copper are pretty resilient to heat, so as long as I keep my fingers in the clear, uh, <laughs> that works out pretty well. All right, let's see if this works. This is going to be our power side, and that should be our ground. And we do have some cute little blinkies. Check it out. They're not super bright, but they're certainly cute. This is kind of like a little firefly, a couple little fireflies, actually. Well, I can confirm that this Blinky is super dinky and super adorable. Go check it out on Pimeroni for more info. And I hope to see more things using these tiny little cheapo microcontrollers. Let's see what happens when we push this. Goes a little bit faster. Oh yeah. Neat. Yeah, fireflies would be really easy to do with this. Nino, Nino, Nino. <laughs> and then if I hold it down, it should go off. Cool. What a cute thingy, the super dinky blinky. Check out the links in the description to this video. And show us what you built with your swag.